the official office said guards brought down to robots short term. Mr. Putin's representative said the Russian chief had not been in that frame of mind at that point. Unconfirmed film via online entertainment seemed to show an item flying over the Kremlin before a little blast. Ukraine said it didn't have anything to do with the supposed robot strike. President Volodymyr Zelensky's representative said Ukraine was zeroing in on freeing its own region after Russia attacked the year before. Another authority told the BBC the detailed episode showed Russia could be setting up a huge scope fear-monger incitement in Ukraine. The two nations often exchange allegations and disavowals since the full-scale Russian attack in February 2022. Russia said the two robots focusing on the Kremlin, an enormous government complex in focal Moscow, were impaired utilizing electronic radar resources. One video via virtual entertainment showed smoke ascending over the sustained complex and in another a little blast was noticeable over the Kremlin Senate working, while two men seemed to scramble up the vault. In an explanation, the Russian administration said, the previous evening, the Kyiv system endeavored to do a strike on the Kremlin home of the leader of the Russian League with automated ethereal vehicles. It said it respected this as an arranged psychological militant demonstration and a death endeavor on the president, and Russia maintains all authority to go to retaliatory lengths any place and at whatever point is considered significant. Mr. Putin has exceptionally high private insurance and the BBC's Russia manager Steve Rosenberg says it is shocking to feel that robots might have even close to the Kremlin. The Russian chief was safe and his timetable would go on as expected, his office said. He was working in Novo Ogaryovo outside Moscow on Wednesday. Pieces of the robots had fallen on the Kremlin site yet nobody had been harmed and there was no harm to structures, the administration said. It additionally noticed the occurrence had come presently before Russia's 9th May Triumph Day march, which unfamiliar dignitaries were supposed to join in. The procession would go on according to plan, Russian news offices cited the Kremlin as saying. What occurred in Moscow is clearly intended to raise what is going on before 9th May, said Ukrainian official representative Serhi Nikiforov. In the meantime, Ukrainian official consultant Mikhailo Podolyak said the occurrence could assist Russia with legitimizing assaults on regular citizen focuses in Ukraine and could likewise designate guerrilla exercises of neighborhood opposition powers inside Russia. Something is going on in RF, Russian Federation, Yet certainly without Ukraine's robots over the Kremlin, Mr. Podolyak said. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said he was unable to approve Russia's allegation that Ukraine had attempted to kill Mr. Putin, yet said he would take whatever the Russian administration said with an exceptionally enormous shaker of salt. Mick Mulroy, a previous U.S. Delegate Collaborator Secretary of Guard and CI official, let the BBC know that assuming that reports of the occurrence were precise it was far-fetched to be a death endeavor as Ukraine tracks President Putin's developments intently and he was not in Moscow at that point. This might have been to show the Russian nation that they can be hit any place and that the conflict they began in Ukraine may ultimately get back home to Russia, even the capital, he said. On the other hand, on the off chance that the reports were not exact, Russia might be creating this to use as a guise to target President Zelensky. Something they have attempted to previously, Mr. Mulroy said. Moscow's chairman on Wednesday reported a restriction on unapproved drone trips over the city. Drone flights would require a unique government license, Sergei Sobyanin said.